Welcome to a Clickstaff unboxing, courtesy of WizKids. Uh, Happy New Year to everybody. We're recording this on New Year's Day. Happy 2024! 2024. <laughs> um, so again, we uh, WizKids sent us this care package and uh, look forward to unboxing it from you. Um, so Wills of Vengeance here. Uh, been out for a little bit already. Um, so Sam and I are going to take a little bit different approach on unboxing this. Uh, we typically do some kind of sealed advice or something like that. Um, but here in a couple of weeks, Sam and I have a team sealed event to do with, uh, down in Florida for the Champion Clicks event. And, um, so that's, um, a whole brick of product. You build three 300 point teams, see how we do. Um, now we're playing that with our teammate as, um, so, to be honest, I haven't seen much of this set. I haven't played right. any of it. Um, so... It'd be a good run through for Sam, um, and uh, give a maybe a little bit of uh, feedback for Az <laughs> to give us some tweaks. So um, if y'all see, I, I, you know, down in the comments below or on Facebook, um, you know, provide some feedback on what three three hundred point teams you would play for a team sealed event out of this brick. Um, they also sent the uh, werewolf by night. Um, play at home kit. Take a look at that real quick. Um, and then the uh, yeah, no. Ghost Rider play at home kit um, before we get started. Um, so you got Doctor Strange's mansion, some terrain, and most importantly, the best legacy card out of the set comes in Werewolf by Night. Oh, it is the yeah. Avengers <laughs> Assemble Chase Iron Man. Um, for those of y'all that didn't know, this is the uh, legacy card that I got to pick from the Hero Clips for Huntington's event 2022. So, uh, Werewolf by Night is the online exclusive uh, play at home kit from Wheels of Vengeance at shop.wizkids.com. This one comes with Ghost Rider. Yeah, and that's, if I'm not mistaken, that's the big 200 point Ghost Rider. Yes, uh, 200 point Ghost Rider. Yeah, so, following the theme of the. You know, the big characters of the Avengers are in the Marvel Universe getting that 200 point dial. That's really beefy. Yeah. And then I think the legacy card is the 2099 Ghost Rider. Uh, just Ghost Rider. Um, uh, oh. It's Ghost Rider. This kid's really talking yeah. up in the quality of tape here. Yeah. I'm struggling. Struggling. Yeah, it's no. This is the amazing. This is the amazing Spider-Man Ghost Rider. So it's the uh, the one that had the pennant stare. Um, but this is the Heroes for Hire version uh, that won Worlds about a decade ago. So and you got the beefy two hundred point dial Ghost Rider. That's pretty beefy. Um, of course, all these dials are available on your uh, favorite dial repository website. Um, so. Um, and let's then get to unboxing. Probably, yeah. probably the most thing of people like the most are these maps. Yeah, Blitzkrieg, Mansion, and then... Um, I mean, isn't that what people buy this? Well, so you, you, buy the, you, you, buy the, the you buy the play at home kit for the Legacy card now, the Terrain, and the... Uh, you got Dark Dimension. Dark Dimension, yeah. and which looks really cool. Some yeah, elevated. That's a good map. And, um, um, and then I'm always... I'm always a sucker for one of these kind of maps because it's outdoor and it's oh, yeah, kind of so open. What's the name of that one? Uh, uh, Blitzkrieg Man Manhattan. Yeah, so the Doctor Strange Mansion, um, the other side of it has um, uh, Broxton, Oklahoma. Um, by the way, if y'all go and take a look at this map here, the uh, Blitzkrieg Manhattan map. Um, I don't know how well it'll show up on camera here, but the uh, sides of this map have blocking down the whole way, which means you can't start there. <gasps> so it's actually no. a. It's, all, it's a two sided. Yeah, yeah so, a, well, if it's a. So if somebody picks this map for to go second on, which means you get to go first, that means that you can choose the 15 by 16 side of the map. Um, I don't know what strategic, um, somebody oh. would, I don't know why somebody would strategically pick that to like give their opponent better reach against them. Um, mm -hmm. but it is something that is new, um, 
to think about. So, um, the legacy card from this brick is is if we can get through the quality of the tape here. Yep, this is just kind of stuck together. We got two gun kid. So two gun kids are really great twenty point uh, filler piece for Avengers past and vehicle teams. Nice. Uh, actually has some pretty good stats for uh, a piece that's. It has to be older than when I started playing. No, yeah, because it came out in 2007, so it was Dang. the Avenger set, so the first carded um, wow. Hero Click set. Okay, so again, uh, Hero Click set. I haven't played with the set. I haven't really seen much of it. I've been really busy. So, so our first this booster, is... this, I was hoping that this wasn't going to be the first booster that we opened. Oh. Because, so this is, we're going to start with the controversial first team. Oh, I see it. I yeah. see it. So... <laughs> Quite easily, right off the gate. I so I think that there's enough. There's enough stuff that you could get in this in this brick to take down 300 points to five. Yeah. But I don't think you can do three teams that will take down 300 points to five. Um, the 20 defense yeah. with a shape change and the stop clicks, the range, um, the Theme team, because this is a theme team by himself. Um, I, I think very clearly in a, in a team event where you have the brick, Kathan becomes one of your three teams. I think he's easily a piece that you sit down and he's he's a team. He's a team. But he's not like, I mean, he's so not we, taking a spot of a team. I think he's that backup. He, well, he's, where, I mean, like, it, if you it open just depends on brick, what's in the rest of this brick. Yeah, so, but I'm saying if you... If you open the brick and you have three other solid good teams, you're like, okay, we can go without that, and we can go without that. Well, I mean, you but, take this guy in an outdoor map, and his cosmic energy, and then his big side is, you know, a colossal willpower. Um, he's going to be really hard to take down. Now we've got uncommon Ghost Rider, <laughs> common Rob, Robbie, and Fire Demon to round out that brick. Well, I pulled what I always pulled. That you always got me. You pulled a room of the night. You pulled a room of several times oh. during sealed. Uh, so, I mean, like, considering Kathan, I know I'm talking about Kathan a little well, bit more. Well, I got here. a piece, another piece that's, I think, causing must, some trouble, right? Must, uh, must play in sealed. Yeah, you uh, got uh, Blackheart. Blackheart. Um, and then you got a mummy. A Hell Cycle. Yeah. I got um, Blackheart, Hell Cycle. Um, yeah, Night yeah Nurse, Ghost Rider. whatever that guy is. Then I got Night and Nurse. Kitsu. Yeah, he's the uh, <laughs> he's the boss man of the mummies, I guess. Okay. Kind of that. Uh, and I Night got, Nurse. I got okay. Night Nurse, Ghost Rider, um, Damien, Hellstrom, just the rare version of him, and Electra. Um, now Night Nurse makes me happy to see her back. Yeah, she hasn't been here since Civil War. Yeah. Um, and then amazing Spider Man. I mean, for that, I to have to be able to adjacent friendly characters can reduce pin damage. Yeah, that's a good piece to that keep. That is a good piece. That's a good one to keep in mind. Uh, for 20 points, that's a good clicks. filler. She has support. Go ahead and open up your third one. I don't want to get out of order here. Oh. You're fine. You're just opening all the cool stuff. I'm just. Well, that second one, I don't think. Well, did I say what happened? Yeah, this one, I don't think really, because it was only a rare Electra. Um, you got Orb and uh, Dracula. That is a very good. Um, I think Orb is a must as, play. Oh, Orb is um, what As was. Yeah, As is playing yeah. that on his pulp team. He won the Champion Clicks Open with um, the. Uh, yeah, Orb is definitely that Orb, piece that I would Orb, love to play. Yeah, he won with an um, Orb Blackheart based team. So. Dracula looks really good for 125 points. Yeah, Frenchie and Frenchie and Vampire. Yeah. So I think that's just that is definitely Orb is a must play and sealed. Um this one we got a Hell Cycle, a Zarathos, a Simon Garth, a Yeti. Uh, I think Zarathos is a really good play in sealed. I didn't know Orb had prop. Yeah, he's got prob and um, that one turning into another one to get the critical hits is um, it's a really good trade. I think we, I think that we got a second good team in mind already. We'll see what we get in these last three boosters. Ooh, we got a 
Superstar Prime. Yep, we got the Super Brother Prime Voodoo. Brother Voodoo. So, um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, he's really good. Um, he's not the OG Brother Voodoo. Though. Yeah, he's not the Prime Brother Voodoo from Amazing <laughs> Spider-Man, but uh, he doesn't inspire that level of fear. So I got um, Mummy, uh, Werewolf, uh, the Prime Brother Voodoo, yep. and Hand Ninja. I got a Hand Ninja and Super Rare, not the Prime, Lilith. Um, who I also think, I think we got a really good um, set here, a really good brick for seal. I would not mind to get this brick. I wouldn't mind, I just look at Werewolf's card. Werewolf is good, because he can roll um, to get have, the... At the beginning of your turn, roll a d6 for all friendly characters with the moon trait. Yeah. Um, That's all your werewolves and... So my, my question is, is like if you had two of them. Yeah, you just you get to roll once, once and then they all get shape change or, or modify, modify attack, attack and worry. Yeah. That's So they're really super that's offensive not pieces. Bad. All right. The last of mine is um You got the super rare um or the rare ghost rider, one of the two. Uh, rare ghost rider. Bear Ghost Rider on the bike. Yeah. For 60 points. With a 19 defense. Yep. Yeah, I think he's, he's probably a must play. Uh, yeah. Oh, he has toughness, though. Um, yeah, but he has, I mean, you pair him with, like, a night nurse and that sort of thing. He's got the 19, and um, the big thing is that, like, Justice Shall Be Served, friendly characters that have been damaged this turn have defenders and mystics. Mm -hmm. um, so that means he can share his 19 defense with them if they've been damaged. Um, so... Uh, well, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of letting, digging this Nightmare. Well, um, so Nightmare... He's got three bolt mind control. Yeah, but he doesn't have much else going for him. I think he's kind of a trap to play in sealed. Uh, but let's take a look at our last booster and build some teams. We got an exciting last booster here, by the way. Um, we got the orange glow booster, which meant that we pulled a spirit rider. Uh, oh. uh, a piece that I did not have yet in my collection. Um, so, who I think is probably one of the, now focus on a sealed perspective. So I guess if you pull the orange, it's like you, you're guaranteed to... You're guaranteed, it's a spirit rider, I think, that comes in that. Oh. Um, so I think he's probably one of the best sealed pulls in a chase, um, in a chase uh, cat level. Um, so he's got a running shot, a, he's got the spirit of vengeance trait, which is when spirit rider attacks opposing characters that took damage from mystic since her last turn, she deals penetrating damage. If the friendly character that dealt this damage from Mystics also has the Spirit of Vengeance trait, you increase damage dealt by one during this attack. Mm. So if Spirit of Vengeance, if someone attacks Spirit Rider and they take Mystics, well now he's now she's doing plus one attack, or plus one damage, and then penetrating damage. Mm. So like if they hit her for two, then she goes to that hypersonic precision strike clip. So she's precision strike eleven for four with prob. Uh, but up top, she's got Energy Explosion, Precision Strike, and Pulse Wave. And then when Spirit Rider uses either Energy Explosion or Pulse Wave, um, and targets one or more characters that damage friendly characters since your last turn, increase the damage dealt to hit characters by one. So she can be doing a two damage Pulse Wave or a three damage Energy Explosion. And uh, she's got Prob. Shape change when Spirit Rider uses prob to target a friendly character and the final result is a miss after resolutions, remove an action token from that character. So it's like they never did it. If they miss. And of course if they don't miss, well, they hit. Mm -hmm. So it's even better. Um so and she's got mystics. I think Spirit Rider is probably She's only 70 points. Yeah, so super strong for sealed. Um, uh yeah. Now, so, the ultimate question that I know that I've seen it on our comments yeah. is, do you build theme or For, build non-theme? Well, so... Because they took away the theme team props. You took away the theme team props, but map control is really big. Um, 
and we got, I think, at least two really, really good uh, teams here to think about. Um, and I think that first team, again, the Orb and Blackheart. Turn Blackheart. Because you want to be able to just consistently win two out of three games. And what I noticed that when I played sealed is that sometimes building the most well balanced team can win you the game. Like you may not have the best like the meta, like the biggest like three hundred point Cathan out there, but like if you have a well balanced team that has a lot of attacks yeah. and your attacks are hitting, mm -hmm. you're going to take down those big pieces. Right. So it's almost better to build have a prom. Like I always try to think I want a prom. I try to have a TK. And then I want at least two attackers. Right. So. Um, I mean, I like that, Night Nurse, but. So, yeah, I mean, Night Nurse is a good um, piece to build with. I was also looking for. So you're, like, is this a team? Uh, not yet. I think this is number two. I want to also put. Um. So I, there's nothing wrong with having I still think there's nothing wrong with having two incredibly stacked teams um, so the team that I'm thinking of this is Zarathos at 125 Spirit Rider at 70 uh, that is 295 50 points for uh, Blackheart that puts it at 245 you said, so that's 195, you said 295, 195. Yeah, sorry, 195 for these two, and then 50 puts it at 245, mm -hmm. and then Orb um, is, would be 290, mm -hmm. and that's your team. And it also happens to be a monster theme. Blackheart for the deployment, Spirit Rider and Orb and Zarathos just go to town. Um... So not only that, Zarathos also has the Screaming for Vengeance free. Choose a friendly character. That character may make an attack, but only to target a character that, since your last turn, KO'd a friendly character or damaged Zarathos. Hmm. So Zarathos also has prob and enhancement. So Spirit Rider flies, running shot, shooting real big. Yeah. Can deployment in with Blackheart to get into position. They're two really good... <laughs> You have a really strong team here that claps back if you hit it. Mm -hmm. For sure. um, so I think that's that's my number one team. Um, I also think Cathan, and from what we got here in our brick, is just a really good, solid second team. Um, then for the third team, I think you look for the more um, defensive type team because we did get cycles. So don't forget, if you take a look in this set, if you take a look at like Lilith and Ghost Rider, you say, well, they don't have any movement attack. Well, oh, Ghost Rider has charge. Don't get not, that. Not Ghost Rider. Uh, sorry, Brother Voodoo. This is the prime Brother Voodoo. So. Well, he's got phasing. I don't I don't have his card. Um, well, yeah, it. yeah, so he's um, funny. You got to remember. He starts to gain three twisted wish tokens. Mm -hmm. Three, remove a wish token. If you do, choose one. Deal an opposing character within range two pin damage or heal any character three clicks. Like, that is... It's big and sealed. And he's got 19 super senses with mm -hmm. a prop. So he's definitely a play on my book. Right, um, he is. So keep in mind, you have Lilith that has phasing, but an 11 attack, three damage, side blast. And what I like leadership. about that, it says within range, not line of fire. That's right. So he only has so, a four. So, uh, did we get also get a, we got a hell cycle too. Yes, we have a hell cycle. Oh, so we got two hell cycles. So hell cycle has uh, literally zero. No, no. Like, so it's a piece of equipment. Oh, so the equipment gotcha. on the hell okay. cycle. So you equip it and at the beginning of the game, you choose to have sidestep poison, uh, hypersonic ESD leap climb or the special defensive power, which is uh, mystics. Oh. So, like, you can just give everybody a um, sidestep. I would have, like, preferred to get a motorcycle, but you can play more than one of these 
her character or for, for her So course. you pay the 15 points to put it on Brother Voodoo. Right. Well, and and you pay have... the 15 points to also put it on Lilith so that they are not completely immobile. Yeah, um, we've got sidestep or... Yeah. yeah, he's got sidestep and he could have ESD and hypersonic. Um, keep in mind Brother Voodoo's attack power is also uh, mind control, smoke cloud, and telekinesis. Um, and he's got, uh, he sees through characters. Yeah. So, so how many bolts ha- is he? Two. Uh, two. So he could mind control two characters and then... Yeah, so having sidestep on him is a big deal. Um, so that puts us at 50, 60, uh, 60, and 90 is 150. Um, so... I don't know what else you got over there in your... Um, <laughs> I, your it, now, now the problem is, is that last... 150 points on this team is probably the weakest um, thing well, to start thinking about. Um, I, I mean, do, we not do necessarily have, because I have a do, Ghost Rider. How many points is that Ghost he's Rider? He's 60. He's got Charge. Is that the 19 defense one? Yeah, 19, Toughness, um, Exploit. Right. We also have a, two. We also have a Frenchie. Uh, which is probably where we break theme to get Frenchie driving the Ghost Rider. Um, um, where's our Frenchie? Frenchie's right here. So Frenchie says, uh, at the beginning of the game, you may choose a friendly character with vehicle keyword that hasn't been chosen by another Frenchie. If you do, turn Frenchie to any click and place him on the chosen character's card. This game, that character can use the powers displayed on Frenchie's dial. And then when he's KO'd, um, Frenchie you, comes you, out. Frenchie comes out. So, like having Frenchie driving the 19 defense Ghost Rider puts that at 85 points. Um, um, so, do you? Here's the thing. What click do you put on Frenchie? Do you well, do the so stealth with the, with the perplex? The stealth, um, stealth, energy explosion perplex. It's not bad. It's not bad. The Ghost Rider does have a full range. He only has charge. But you can also do it on sidestep close combat expert to go with his charge. Um, That's true. That would put him... Yeah. So that is 85. Um, So we're at 150 and 85. That would be 235. That leaves us 65 points to round out here. Um, And Robbie, Robbie Reyes is not bad. I mean, 75 points. We only perplex. have 65, really, unless we... We got Mr. Blade here. Well, I like Blade. Uh, what did I play? Uh, the Moon Knight. The Moon Knight has prop, right? Moon Knight does... Mm... It was a special little damage power. Um. No, Perplex and Shape Change. How many points is he? No, no, no. He's got the... Um... He's got the moon trait, and one of the moon traits, too. He's got the moon trait. Beginning of your turn, roll a d6, and all your friendly characters with the moon trait. Um, so he's a 1, 2 is in power, 3, 4 is enhancement, yeah. 5, 6 is prop. And I think he is 65 on the nose. So So he wouldn't be bad just to throw one there for... Well, he's good. I've played him, and he's decently mobile, um, you know, and then you can also pick a pilot out of here. Um, somebody else to drive him. So Moon Knight or Marvel Knights keyword. Um, I'm not going to dig through all of these pieces to find somebody. So a blade can drive him. Daddy, look at that look at that motorcycle. Do you want the motorcycle, buddy? Yeah. So if you're listening, that's our son Theo. Look at that motorcycle. Do you want this one? This, I already have that fire one. Do you already have the fire one? Do you want the one with the ninja driving it? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Go play with him over there, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but so, do you have to pay the points for No, no, you know? no, no. The pilot can drive these. It's not like Frenchie. Blade can drive Moonlight by just being on your sideline. Oh. So that gives you like hypersonic. Um, I think, is it, uh, they can get the, sorry, they can get the movement power. Uh, standard attack and damage power. So they could get. Uh, shape change or blades or steel energy. That wouldn't be bad for some shape change. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if we have any other. We definitely didn't pull any other Moon Knights, but we probably pulled another Marvel Knight in here somewhere. Um, and it's single base character. So you um, can't. Night have, Nurse? 
That's my nurses. I know, but you that would only get you like support. <laughs> um, I mean, that's not bad. So but... Electra can't drive it. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a Ghost Rider. This regular Ghost Rider could do it and give him um, still energy or shape change. But he already has shape change. It, it just, there's no real downside to having one here. Just an extra power is probably fine. Mm -hmm. um, but we don't have any. I feel like the only thing is, is so when you play in these two, these three v three team events, you're such you're under such like quickness to build things mm -hmm. that like we miss kind of miss playing Howard the Duck uh, but Howard the Duck is 30 um, so he's 5.0 over what we need to build so you might want to drop the only consideration I would have for this team in particular for the team like what we're sitting there all building and talking is do we drop a cycle and Frenchie that frees up 40 points to play Howard the Duck to play theme. The answer is probably not. No. Because we, we do, but we do have a mystical theme going on here pretty easily without Frenchie driving Ghost Rider. Um, and Frenchie could also drive Moon Knight. So there's nothing wrong with Frenchie driving Moon Knight or Ghost Rider. Um, you get to actually choose at the mm -hmm. beginning of the game because Frenchie just starts your force like you place him on the map and then you say who he's going to drive that's a vehicle yeah so um but keep in mind I think that's the flex points for this team if you wanted to go theme and wanted to get to a particular map like I think the only reason you would consider that for this team is um it is mobility limited um so you have to be careful. Like maybe you want to take this team to Morlock Tunnels. So it's not as easily. To so you TK can and you, you can get... TK and you can get a little bit of stuff in, get into position a little bit better, take advantage of Brother Voodoo seeing through walls with his wish tokens. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just a thing to keep in mind. Yeah, um, for sure. Now, does that mean that maybe we drop Zarathos over here? And put Lilith and Buller Voodoo over here. Um, that's also a decision that you'd have to make. But Zarathos, very stout. Spirit Rider, very good attacker. Uh, Orb, a very good attacker. Blackheart, very huge for deployment. Mm -hmm. My thought is in general, big attacker, deployment, deployment. Or uh, big attacker, big attacker. Stout and a big attacker. And then just deployment. Um... And it just so happens to be thin. You do have several probs mm -hmm. on that team and good attack values. And then, of um, course, we're just going to play with Kathan. <laughs> I, I think, like, if you were to present these three teams to me, um, I, I think in that case yeah. here today, Sam, I think I would probably have as play this team, the Brother Voodoo, Hell Cycle, Lilith team. I would probably play the Zarathos team, mm -hmm. and we'd probably have you play Kathan. I could do it. I could play one piece. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> now, now that's not a knock on you, right? I mean, those of y'all that know Sam's a really good Hero Clicks player, uh, but Sam hasn't played Hero Clicks very not, much, no. very I much these played. past few months. Um, so we'd probably give that to her who hasn't played in a while, and we would just tell her how to. My play thing it. is, when we when we open these packs, like it's funny because the guys, you know, you guys are like, get all the super rares, get the chasing, to get the prime, we like stuff the cards. And then I'm over here, like, looking at, like, a 20-point piece. I'm like, this is really good. Yeah. Like, we really need to play this piece, right. you know? Yeah. Um, and usually they're all, like, thinking theme, and I'm like, I'm not really on the theme. Well, way. so I don't really um, want to think theme. I'm not because, really – I'm just saying this set is easy to build theme with. I, I understand, but, like, well. I'm um, one of those people, like, if it – it bit me in the butt of worlds because we worried about themes so much because we won the well, prize we, we won the yeah, map we it, yeah. and if it would have just went not on theme I think I would have had a secondary attacker. Um, yeah, when we my well, well a lot better. when we did it in twenty twenty two, yeah, we shouldn't have gave you theme for sure. Um, but that was different rules. That was you had theme because even with theme, I don't win that. Well, so, <laughs> so in 2022, when we built you theme for Seal, you, we still had theme probs in play. Yeah, we but did. But keep in mind, like, it's not anything necessarily bad in this set to build theme um, because there's so many pieces with Mystical and Monster um, that it really 
isn't that big of a Like I said, I mostly look, like, of course you think you get your big characters, but I also look, like I said, more prom. I kind of want a TK to try to get somebody into an attack mode. Um, and then I also look for some, like, rollouts, just because, I mean, a lot of these pieces have toughness or, right. um, you know, there's an imperv, but... There's some penetrating damage. Yeah, so you gotta look for the penetrating damage in this set. Um, Invincible, if you can get it to mitigate a lot of the mystics. Um, but keep in mind, Cathan chooses himself for his trait. He becomes, he reaches the full map on a 16 square map. Mm. And he ignores hindering and blocking for targeting. And you just hope you don't miss. Hope you don't miss. As long as you don't roll a critical miss on that first attack, you're probably in pretty good shape. Well, um, and then leave it, leave it to me. <laughs> well, <laughs> so like, keep in mind he's a twenty <laughs> defense with shape change and imperv. It takes a very concentrated team to get enough attack value. Like this team here, the Blackheart Ghost Rider Orb team, has the penetrating damage and the prob to get through a Cathan. Yeah, but. This team would have to face this team in the ABC scenario. Mm -hmm. So if that happens, then you know, I, you know, GGs, you know. Um, but it's all about the matchup. Like this team here, the Lilith Brother Voodoo team probably doesn't match up well with Cathan because it just doesn't have enough oomph to hit a 20 21 defensive hindering. Um, Plus, it's got to get across the map. Yeah. Well, now, but that's why I'm thinking, like, maybe the weaker team goes a little bit with theme so that it can battle, like, a Cathan's own theme. Mm hmm So, oh, well, at any rate, y'all saw what we pulled? Yeah. Give us your comments below what you think um, would be your sealed, your 3 d Someone's going to say they should have, we should have played Nightmare. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think anybody would say I, that. I don't know. I, this is the, I just think Triple Bolt, my control was still, I don't know, just seems, seems pretty good to me. All right. If you think you like Nightmare, comment away below. Thanks, everybody, for watching <laughs> the Clickstop unboxing for Wills of Vengeance. We'll talk to you all next time.